Hello, my name is Gareth Thomas. I'm the admissions tutor for Cardiff University's Diagnostic Radiography Program, a program that has been voted number one in the Complete University Guide 2021. So, just a welcome to Cardiff University and an overview of the session. Uh, what I'm going to talk about is what is actually diagnostic radiography, why study radiography at Cardiff, and what we're looking for in terms of an applicant. So diagnostic radiography essentially produces diagnostic images using um, electromagnetic radiation in the diagnostic and treatment and follow-up of disease and trauma. We also have a caring role and support patients from all ages and backgrounds and from all different health conditions underg undergoing diagnostic imaging examinations. There's also a new extensed, extended role to the diagnostic radiographer where we provide clinical reports and assessments uh, to clinicians who referred patients for imaging. So this is a brief overview of uh, conventional x-ray imaging and this is really the bread and butter of diagnostic radiography where oh, often most people are more uh, familiar with. Uh, this is uh, sort of imaging uh, performed in excellent and emergency departments, very short, sharp, providing a first protocol for diagnosis and disease, usually for bony fractures, um, and chest x-rays from GPs and outpatients clinics and various patients from around the hospital. Another form of imaging which has been around a long time now is computerised tomography or commonly known as the CT scan. Here, uh, due to the evolution of technology, we've been able to produce uh, cross-sectional images of the body uh, which can be all grouped together to provide 3D reconstructions in order for surgeons and clinicians to plan and carefully diagnose much more accurately. Another form of imaging that does not use ionizing radiation is magnetic resonance imaging. This is uh, using a form of a big magnet um, and is much uh, more suited to looking at disease involving the bones themselves and more importantly the soft tissue surrounding uh, bony joints and uh, uh, soft tissues such as the brain, spinal cord and soft tissues and uh, ligaments and muscles. And another form of imaging, uh, again not using uh, ionizing radiation, is ultrasound, often commonly associated with scanning for obstetrics or baby, uh, to monitor baby's growth. But however, ultrasound has come a long way now in forms of abdominal imaging, um, musculoskeletal in terms of soft tissue, uh, sports injuries, and also in terms of diagnosing diseases associated with the veins and arteries surrounding the body. Another form of imaging it involves injection of radioisotope, which is radioactive, usually has a half-life of about six hours, and is attached to a pharmaceutical uh, depending on what part of the body that we're imaging. Uh, so for example, on the left, top left, is a, a skeletal bone scan, uh, completely normal on the first top left, but the second one, uh, as you can see, there's lots of these hot spots scattered around, uh, signifying this patient has had a uh, spread of a probably prostate cancer to the various parts of the skeleton, much more sensitive, picking up um, bony tumours compared to conventional x-ray. The images on the far right are actually cross-section images of the heart, looking at the uptake of blood flow to the heart muscle in order to evaluate the state of the heart and the uptake of blood in order for it to function properly. Another form of imaging we do is fluoroscopy. This is real-time imaging, uh, usually uh, allows the patient to uh, attend the department as a day case patient without the need to have a general anaesthetic. And the patient's usually awake and, uh, and the other radiographer's role is to make sure the patient is calm, the patient is aware of what is happening and usually the radiographer can be at the patient's side or actually performing the imaging while the clinician, usually a radiologist or a cardiologist, is performing the actual procedure. So from the left, this is a, a catheter going into the, um, the heart itself. The, the middle one is for the injection of the dye for us to see whether what arteries are, are patent or not. And B is um, another form of imaging um, 
similar to fluoroscopy where we assess and evaluate all the arteries going up to the head and neck. So where do radiographers work? Well, radiographers work in a wide range of areas. Um, you, more commonly, the X-ray radiology departments in large and small hospitals. Radiographers often attend the operating theatre and cardiac catheterization suites uh, to help guide surgeons or cardiologists in terms of the procedures that they are performing. We also sometimes have to attend the wards themselves, and these are where patients are probably too ill or unstable to attend the X-ray department. Uh, so typical areas are in intensive therapy units, like ITU, neonatal, special care baby units, intensive care, oncology um, centres, and also wards with, with, uh, containing the care of the elderly. Also, we also find you will also find that departments are very closely attached to the accident and emergency unit in order to provide prompt diagnosis uh, for patients with accidents and all different um, emergency situations. Rich officers also will be in the armed forces, um, usually joined up with the territorial army in order to provide um, diagnosis on the battlefields and also in, within the mortuary to uh, assist the pathology or pathologists in terms of diagnosis for causes of death. So the pay bands and career structure with the NHS pay scale, uh, radiographers once qualified and state registered, you will commence on the NHS pay scale at band 5 and uh, there's opportunities there for you to progress up to band 8 which is usually senior management or it could be even a consultant radio for a role. Uh, typical current hours as we stand is 37 hours per week as a full-time uh, radio for. Also, don't forget there are enhanced rates for working in large cities such as London and also enhanced rates working on social hours, i.e. evenings and weekends. So why study at Cardiff University? Well, Cardiff is uh, School of Radiography and Cardiff University is the number one in Wales and also we're the fourth place in terms of the Times and the Times Good University Guide 2020 in terms of our teaching, putting us at the top in the UK. Also, the, the university's had a massive, massive £600 million capital investment programme across the university, uh, including with that is £260 million being spent on student facilities. The library and IT facilities, I may add, are always accessible 24 hours a day and also the campus is situated within Wales's largest hospital. So what facilities do we have for radiography students? Well, we have a clinical simulation suite um, where uh, we work together with other programmes in order to simulate an actual environment in the, in the modern day hospital. Um, we also have practical rooms, x-ray imaging suites where you will be able to practice with each other, positioning and be guided by the uh, lecturers of the department. We're also lucky, fortunate that we have the new shade away and image viewing room where you'll be able to evaluate images there and then um, for your own learning. And a large IT suites and also large modern new lecture theatres and classrooms scattered throughout the campus. So key features of our programme, well, we are proud to say that 50% of the new degree course will be spent on uh, the actual clinical placements themselves, actually doing the actual role or learning the actual role with real life radiographers in hospitals with real life patients. You will do three different placement hospitals and also be proud of the fact that we have dedicated clinical tutors on hand in those departments who are sometimes are employed by the university themselves or actually employed by the hospitals or local health boards and they are more familiar with the programme and will manage your teaching and do your assessing while it's on placement. They also be a good bridge between the department and the actual university themselves. You also be expected to work shifts and weekends and um, in terms of your placements. Uh, subjects you study are physics, radiation science, actually you understand how radiation science actually works and how to use it safely. Obviously you need to have an understanding of human anatomy, physiology and pathology and also learn about the profession itself and how it maintains as a profession and what you'll be expected to in order to keep yourselves known as professionals. 
and lastly you will be expected to undertake a research project usually at the end of your degree on a, on a topic or a piece of research of your own choosing by that point you will have a much more wide understanding of the subject in order to decide what piece of research you'd like to do also we do have a range of teach wide range of teaching assessment methods both in academic and clinical to suit a wide varied uh, wide number of um, students with various uh, learning needs. So the clinical placement schemes are situated right throughout South Wales, uh, going from the east, southeast Wales, from Newport, Abergavenny, right through to Cardiff and uh, uh, Bridgend, going further west to Swansea, where we're one of our largest, another large hospital, and then as far west as you can to Pembrokeshire with, with the Bush Hospital um, in Halford West. Uh, you will do one place, one year in one large major hospital, usually which would be Cardiff, Newport or Swansea, and the other two years will be in any other hospital. We do also reimburse, uh, Welsh Government reimburse your accommodation and travel into placement if you are paying already for accommodation in Cardiff. And as I said in the previous slide, we have on-site clinical lecturers in each of these hospitals to support you and your learning. So, another aspect of our course and, and conjunction with Cardiff University is that you will have the opportunity to have a learning experience abroad. Cardiff University has an aim for 30% of undergrads to study or work volunteer abroad for at least three weeks. So, for example, in 2018, approximately 100 healthcare students studied abroad for at least three weeks. Of that, there are money to help. There is money available to support you uh, to carry out these activities. And in 2018, again, £10,000 of trial bursaries were awarded to the to healthcare students who applied for this help. So here we are, it's a map of the currently where uh, diagnostic radiography students have gone abroad to do international placements. So the benefit of studying uh, diagnostic radiography at Cardiff is that we are validated by the Healthcare Professions Council. And that's very important in that when with our degree programme, you're able to be at a, at a place to uh, be registered and apply to work in as a radiographer post-qualification. Also, we're proud of the fact that we are accredited by a professional body, the Society College of Radiographers. Our programme is career-focused. So from point uh, year one, you will start learning professional development and developing your own portfolio of your own uh, development and learning to take across for interview at the end of the three years to show that you're dedicated uh, to pursue the knowledge and uh, develop, further develop uh, your chosen uh, subject or profession. We have a high employment rate, 99% of our students are employed post-qualification. Also the opportunities for overseas placements and all our lecturing staff are actually qualified radiographers with a wide range of expertise. The fact that you're applying for, uh, to study at Cardiff University means that you're eligible to apply for the NHS Wales Bursary for all UK students. So no matter where you come from in the UK, you're all eligible to have a bursary and also the chance to learn a language at no extra cost. So academic requirements, we, we, we want to ensure that you have, um, we would expect you to have a minimum of five GCSEs, a grade C or higher, including Welsh or English, maths and two sciences. We accept three A-levels, uh, but three Bs, including one science subject. We also will accept the Welsh Baccalaureate in lieu of a non-science A-level. Also, BTEC Extended Diploma Science or BTEC Extended Diploma in Health Science with, with two distinctions and merit. We also accept um, applicants from access to higher education. We, we prefer applied science or biosciences. Uh, all um, access to health must have 60 credits at level three with a minimum of 27 distinctions and 18 merits. Again, we also consider candidates on an individual basis, particularly mature applicants. Um, what to be looking for in terms of candidate? Well, as we're working in the healthcare environment, we would, ex would expect you to have a caring, empathetic nature. 
and also the ability to work with people. So we'll be looking at your skills of team working, your knowledge of team working. Also, are you able, you know, how good are you able to communicate in various uh, situations or scenarios? And also be able to work autonomously too, in order to you to be at a point where you can make your own decisions <coughs> and without any points. Uh, you also be assessed to your ability to work under a high pressured environment. Uh, the NHS is in a strain at the moment and we will be looking that you can withstand that pressure. Also scientific interest and also the knowledge of the radiography profession. So we recommend that you look at the Society in College of Radiography's website which gives you great insight into the, the role of diagnostic radiographers and therapeutic radiographers. There's opportunity for postgraduate uh, study, looking to specialise in the various um, uh, various uh, modalities, and looking at the reporting role uh, in terms of doing the work with the work that was once um, performed by a consultant radiologist. Also, there's scope there to expand to become a consultant radiographer. I will pursue research, or like myself, go into education, or you may want to go into management. We would also recommend that you do visit a clinical department to make an informed decision whether this is the career for you. Also, have a good thing whether that you will be able to withstand the physical and mental demands of the job, look at the technical and people skills that are required, and also. T take into account that the clinical placements you may undergo could be very far from Cardiff, a uh, uh, maximum of two hours journey. So be prepared uh, that you will be your own family situations uh, will be able to support that. Also, you will be subjected to a uh, criminal records disclosure (DBS) check, and offers are only uh, made after an interview. And these interviews will start December the twenty first, twenty twenty. Applications must be received by UCAS by 15th of January 2021. However, we do advise that you submit applications as early as possible. It's essential that before commencing that you have obtained a Disclosure and Borrowing Service Check, or DBS, and in addition to that, you, before enrolling on the programme, you will be required to complete an Occupational Health Questionnaire to receive all the necessary vaccinations and uh, what support can be given to you on placement. Any questions, please email healthcare hcare admissions at cardiff.ac.uk. So the selection process. First, we screen your application form to ensure that your academic entry requirements uh, reflect what the minimum required for JCC and looking at your predicted grades. We also scrutinise your referee statement or the character assessment of you and also look at UCAS business statement. We rec strongly recommend the following. We look for evidence of your interest and knowledge of diagnostic radiography, and also that you have visited an x-ray department, and as to why you want to become a radiographer. We look for evidence of compassion, empathy, what voluntary work have you done, what community charity work have you done, for example, and also what are your own personal interests and achievements. Following that, and after the decision, we may call you then for a multi-mini interview. Also, we do not make offers to applicants who do not attend an interview. So here are the provisional interview dates for 2021. Uh, these are maybe subject to change. However, please let us know if you're not, unable to attend an interview. Let us know in advance and we can reschedule you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for your time. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to contact myself on thomasg19 at cardiffac.uk or my colleague Mark Linehan, Linehan MJ at cardiff.ac.uk. Thank you very much.